Hey there lovelies, my name is Mamta and welcome to my channel Geek Glitz in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. I make all sorts of videos but mainly Harry Potter so feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So today I've got another LitJoy Magical subscription box unboxing and this time the theme is The Burrow which I am super excited about. So LitJoy does quarterly subscription boxes that are magical and they each retail for $54.99 US dollars. I'll list them down below in the details if you guys wanted to check them out. And in addition to their boxes, they also do include some magical add-on items that you can add on to your order. And it doesn't have to be magical to be honest. Like they have other items in their shop as well, in their LitJoy shop, like uh, bookish related items basically that you can pay extra to include in your box so today I am going to be unboxing the borrow box as well as some add-ons that I decided to include with my LitJoy order so it's a pretty heavy box this time so I do want to get started with the unboxing ASAP but let me first describe the illustration on this box so on the front it says LitJoy magical subscription we've got a sign that says the borrow and there's Ginny that's staring out of the borrow looking at the clothesline and a little owl over there on the corner and then on the front of the box, on the flap, we've got Harry and Ron flying the Ford Anglia. And then we've got some hill scenery on this side. On this side, we've got Fred and George denoming the garden. And on this side, more scenery. And then on the back of the box, we've got a little pond with a frog. So of course, it's a gorgeous illustration as usual. And what I love about the LitChoy boxes is that they make good display boxes even after or even storage boxes because the artwork on them is beautiful and there's plenty of space to store a lot of items. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. Let's see what we have inside. You guys get a quick glimpse inside and I'm going to put this to the side and unbox each item one by one. So on the very top of the box, there is this Witch Weekly magazine with Gilderoy Lockhart. I am pretty sure this is like the brochure that describes what's inside the box because the back has an ad for the next box. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this aside and we'll come back to it later. So the first item that I've picked out is this magnificent marmalade candle and it's so cutely packaged. I imagine this is something that Mrs. Weasley would probably make. It's got a little like jute bag o in the top and you can open it up and then there's a lid as well you open that up and it smells so good like a really nice sweet smell to it, it smells divine I love it I think the scent emits a really homely feeling so it's definitely perfect for the burrow so next up I've got a brown box here that says denoming spray so this is as seen in Witch Weekly and of course with this we're going to be able to get rid of our garden gnomes now. So let me check it out. I believe it's probably a replica. I don't know if there's actually any spray in it. So let's see. That is super cool. It's like a green bottle. There's a label that says denoming spray and let me see if this works. Imagine it should pump if you press it down. Oh, it does work. So you can like press it down and it pumps. That kind of scared me a bit. If you press it down. Oh, it does work. So I think this could definitely work as a perfume bottle. I could just add in some perfume or some cologne in here and then spray away. Or I could keep with the cleaning theme, the magical cleaning theme, maybe add some cleaning liquid in here to spray like surfaces or like um, disinfectant spray as well. I think that could work. So that's really fun. I feel like the bottle itself is very unique, a very cool item, a replica that I've never seen before. So next up, I'm going to go for a small item. It's a little green velvet pouch. And in the last box, if you watched it, there was a coin in here. And I'm pretty sure there must be another spell related coin in this one too. So yes, we've got a Lumos coin and that is super cool. I love the illustration on it. It's like a wand that's casting Lumos and it says wand lighting charm. It's very, very clear. The details are amazing. And then on the back is the wand motion for doing the Lumos spell. So I'm really loving the collectible coins in these boxes. They make such great display pieces. And that's actually a good segue for me to show you one of the add-on items. I separated them out before unboxing this so that I could show you the add-ons later. But this is a good segue to show you one of them. And it's basically a coin stand. So I picked up a couple of these because I figured I would collect the LitChoy coins and then 
I could display them on the stand. So again, the coin stand is an add-on item, which means by default, it's not included with the subscription box. I paid extra to include this in my box so that I could have a way to display the coins. And next up, I've got an item with a very distinct pattern here, instantly recognizable. This is a hat, like a beanie kind of cap that Ron wears in the movies. I can't recall which movie, but it was like a winter scene and he wears it. So I'm gonna get this out of the plastic packaging so that we could check it out. So that is super adorable, this little knitted beanie. It's even got like the two braided tassels on the side and there's also a braided tassel from the top. I'm loving the colors here. I'm pretty sure it's probably accurate to what they had in the movies and I am leaning towards it being Prisoner of Azkaban. The scene where Harry's kind of like under the invisibility cloak and just like playing pranks on like Malfoy. I feel like Ron was wearing this, if I'm not mistaken. So super cute item and one that I would not have thought to include in a borrow themed box. So it was a pleasant surprise. So next up, I've got this white box and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And when I shake it, I could definitely tell that it is the item I'm thinking of because I've seen it across Instagram already. But let me get it out because this is a very exciting item. So we have got an alarm clock. I am so floored by this item. Like I think it's such a cool thing to include in the borrow box. And I was really hoping there would be a Weasley clock themed item because it's iconic, right? Like an iconic part of the borrow and the Weasley family. So this is really cool. I love that it's functional, something that we could actually use. So the alarm clock is a gorgeous shade of bronze and I am loving the Weasley watch face illustration in the center, the clock face illustration. The pieces for the Weasley family don't actually move, but you can see all the different locations around them. There's stuff like traveling, prison, lost, Quidditch, bed, holiday, a lot of different locations. And then for us muggles, we've got the regular watch hands that we're used to, the hour, the minute, and the alarm hand. So it works perfectly as an alarm clock, and I'm so glad that they included this item in the borrow box. It's a very good representation of what the Weasley clock would be like, and I'm really happy with it. So next up, there is a zipper pouch in here, and this is so fun. I am obsessed with zipper pouches. I feel like you can never have enough zipper pouches because there's so much you can do with them. There's so much you can store in them. So this is a white colored zipper pouch. It's got a Litchoy crate tag on the end. And it's basically an illustration of the letter that the Weasleys sent to the Dursleys to ask Harry to stay with them. And basically it says Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, their address, the Four Privet Drive, and it's covered with stamps, which is so fun. And on the back, it's got the rest of the letter illustration as well. There's a Weasley seal in the center and it's got even more stamps. And these stamps are just brilliant. Like they definitely had fun with this, putting this together because there are like pyramids in here. There is the fat lady, I want to say. I think it's her, maybe. There is a knight chess, a squid, giant squid. A lot of references. There's even a mandrake, a pumpkin, a double decker bus. And um, on this end, we've got like a dragon, we've got a diamond, a Ford Anglia, a little cat, some holly, and even a train that could be like representing the Hogwarts Express, and even a lion in red and gold, of course, a Gryffindor reference, and a mermaid too. So I could just stare at these stamps forever. There's so many references if you think about it. There's even a Deathly Hallows symbol hidden behind one of these stamps. That is amazing. Can't wait to use this. I really, really love this pouch. And next, I've got this little white cloth drawstring bag. So let me get this open. And we've got a little wooden book type thing here. Let's see. Ooh, it says Weasley's Family Recipes and it's like a little recipe book. Oh, it's actually not a recipe book. Oh, it is, I guess, technically. But it could also totally work as a photo album. Like you can put in your own photos and stuff. I think there's one included. Oh, they have a recipe card. So technically you can make like photocopies of this and like put in your own recipes and then fill this little booklet up. I might use it for photos though because I'm not much of a cook. I just love the design though. Like this wooden texture of the outer album with the binder rings and the way it's just like engraved in. It says Weasley's family recipes and it's just so fun okay guys the next item is brilliant it is a picture frame 
of the Weasley family. I'm just going to get it out of the bubble wrap. And you basically get a frame and an illustration of the Weasley family. And it's such a good illustration. Like, I am loving this so much. And I feel like it was taken later because Bill actually has his cars. And we've got Charlie. So they're all older, actually. We've got Molly. We've got Ginny. We've got Ron, who's tall. And he's got Pigwidgeon. So it's post Scabbers. There's Percy looking all serious. And we've got Fred and George. So this is amazing. Like, such a good illustration. And the frame is really nice, too. It's like a... It's almost got like a vintage wooden look to it. I love it. This is going to look so good on a shelf. All right, so we're down to the paper products for the remainder of this box. So this is not counting the add-on items. I will show those afterwards. But first up, I have got this photo booth photo strip featuring the Weasley twins. And they've got their pygmy puffs in there too. On the bottom, it says Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. And I love that one of the photos features the pygmy puffs just filling up the entire photo. That's super cute. So this is a recurring item that happens in each of the boxes. We got a photo strip in the Magical Alley subscription box as well. And this time we've got the Weasley twins. So I wonder what the next ones will be. And then we've got this card with a fun illustration featuring the Weasley family and the burrow. So we've got... Harry, Ron, and Ginny, Dino, Ming, the garden. Then we've got the burrow and Mrs. Weasley standing from it and one of the windows looking really angry at Fred and George who are flying around on their Quidditch brooms. And then we've got Mr. Weasley and I think that's Percy possibly in the Flying Ford Anglia. So it's a very fun illustration. I actually really enjoy these cards and these illustrations that they have in each of the boxes. So the last one was, of course, the Magical Alley one. And then this one is the Borrow one. And then finally, this is the last paper product, not counting the brochure. And it's basically a marriage certificate for Mr. and Mrs. Weasley. And it's so cool the way it's presented. Like, it's a very good quality. I'm loving the vintage parchment-like color. And there's, like, purple ink that they've used. And basically, they were married on the 13th of June in 1968. And we've got their witnesses being two Weasley family members and two Pruitt family members. So that's a very fun replica. So I think before I do the brochure, I'm going to go ahead and go through the add-on products that I paid extra for to include in my box. So first up, I've got this little pin, an enamel pin, that's got the Weasley Wizard Weezes logo. So it's purple and orange, and the orange W is in glitter. I love enamel pins, and I figured I could add this one to my little Weasley Wizard Weezes themed board. And then I also got this other enamel pin, and this is a Polaroid themed pin. It's also Weasley Wizard Weezes themed. It's like featuring them on their opening day. So you've got the shop storefront, and it's just such a fun and colorful pin. So I figured I'd add this to my collection as well. And then, because I can never get enough of jigsaw puzzles, I also picked up this burrow themed jigsaw puzzle. So this is a 300 piece puzzle. It's the same illustration on that burrow card that I showed earlier. So it's a very fun and colorful illustration. There was a similar magical alley themed puzzle, which I got from the previous box as an add on as well. So I couldn't pass up this borrow themed one too to add to my growing Lit Choi puzzle collection. And then I'm getting to some of my favorite add-on pieces now. So this is a Lit Choi Alohomora collection collectible key. So this time, this key is themed around the borough. So this is a beautiful collection of keys that they have a different theme and it's done by the brilliant Amelia B83 in partnership with Lit Choi Crate and they're such fun designs because you get all sorts of elements so you get like an enamel key with a little charm hanging off of it and this one has a tag that says Ford Anglia as well there's a Weasley seal on this key and on the charm on it says the burrow and then there's a ring where you can just kind of join it all together and carry it around so I love this collection so much, the Alohomora collection, because each of the key designs is so unique and so fun. And then I've got another key that I added on from the Litchoy Alohomora collection. And this is the fourth key design. I have all the previous three designs that I've been released so far. So this is the fourth one now. And this one might be one of my favorites, actually, because it's Weasley Wizard Weasus themed. I'm just loving the colors here. It's a mix of orange and purples, the classic Weasley Wizard Weezes color, and of course gold as well. So we've got a little charm that has the Weasley Wizard Weezes logo on it. 
Um, there's also a sign hanging off the key that's Weasley Wizard Weezes with a puff. And uh, I forget what that's called. The black little thing, I forget. It just makes noise. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. And the key is really fun. It's a orange hand with the Weasley Wizard Weezes logo, the W in purple and then the base of the key says ma'am this way so that is super fun and of course we've got a gold ring to tie it all together and then finally the last item that i got is also from the lichoy alohomora collection and i know it's surprising that there's a fifth box from this collection because there's only been four keys released so far so what could this be it is a very fun item too and one i couldn't pass up because it's a giant ring with two charms hanging off of it the rings charms say lit joy alohomaro collection on one of the charms and then the other says keeper of keys so basically it's a giant ring where you can put all of the collectible keys from the alohomaro collection it's so fun and i can channel my inner hagrid now by being a keeper of keys myself so i couldn't pass this up i think it's awesome and as mentioned before i did pick up a couple of coin stands too as additional add-on products and then they also had another fun add-on product which i didn't get which was basically a weasley wizard wheezes themed book nook and that's basically uh, an item like a light box type of item that you could place in between your books so it like gives a little flair to your bookshelves all right i think we're ready for the witch weekly magazine now featuring gildoy lockhart and this of course is the brochure that describes all the items that we got inside so the first one is the alarm clock the weasley family alarm clock and the illustrator was the imaginative illustrator they have their instagram handle then we've got molly's homemade deliciousness with the molly weasley's recipe album and that was a fun item and it could fit up to 50 recipes because there's 25 sleeves in there and then we've got molly's marmalade candle which is made by Turkish candle co and that smelled amazing and then of course the photo frame featuring the weasley family illustration that is by maria lahane and then the marriage certificate of a mr and mrs weasley and that was done by muggle magic diy the molly's a letter to the dursley's zipper pouch by karen leopold and then the Ron Weasley beanie, which was amazing. We've also got the collectible Lumos spell coin, which is number two by Maggie Rose Studio. And then the featured add-ons with Amelia B83 is the borrow key, the Weasley Wizard Weezes shop key. And the last page is a bunch of advertisements. So we've got, oh, the denoming spray. Yes, that was also there. And that's by Timberine. And then the Borrow Theme Arch Print by David Ear 2 illustration. And that is so fun. The Weasley Wizard Weezes Joke Shop Photo Strip by Sarah Conradson. And then there's an ad to join the Loonies, which is basically representing the Lunacorns, which is Lit Joy's VIP uh, loyalty program. And then the back of the magazine has a feature for the next box that's coming up. And it says the Big Seven. And it's featuring items representing Harry, Ron, Hermione, Neville, Ginny, Luna, and Draco. That should be pretty fun. Oh, I'm tempted to get this. I'm not sure if I will, but I'm thinking about it. Because I just love these prints, like collecting each of them and even the puzzles with them. So maybe I'll get this box. I will see. So that was a super fun box. I really think Lit Choi did well with the Burrow theme. I really enjoyed unboxing this and both the items that were inside the boxes as well as the add-on items were spectacular. Some of my favorites and standouts I think were the Weasley Alarm Clock which was amazing. I really enjoyed the zipper pouch as well and the Weasley picture in the photo frame. I love that. So these are items that were from the box in terms of least favorite i actually really enjoyed everything but if i had to pick one item that's the least favorite i would say probably the little beanie for ron ron's beanie not because it's bad or anything but because it's maybe not a pattern i would personally use so that's why i would go with it as a least favorite but it does make a good replica and then from the add-ons my top favorite would be the weasley wizard wheezes key i just think it was such a fun design 
I absolutely love it and Amelia B83 always knocks it out of the park with her wonderful designs and creations. So let me know below in the comments what you guys thought of the Lichoi Borrow Box and which of the items was your favorite from the box itself as well as the add-on products. And just a disclaimer that this video is not an ad, it's not sponsored. I bought this box myself as well as all the add-on items. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel Geek Glitz for more things geek and more things glitz. And make sure to hit that notification bell to be informed when my new videos are up. And feel free to connect with me on any of my social media. I've listed them all below in the description. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So come say hello as I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye!